wedding photographers the best Facebook ad targeting to attract newly engaged couples to your business every single day. Hey guys, Jordan Caressis here, co-founder of the WLMA. And if you don't know who we are, so we're a team of six figure wedding photographers. We have almost a thousand students worldwide, photographers and videographers, and we've helped a ton of them scale to really amazing levels, even as far as a hundred thousand to four hundred thousand dollar years. And I have a very special video for you where I'm going to share with you our exact Facebook ad targeting template that you can use if you're a wedding photographer, videographer, or even any professional in the wedding industry to attract newly engaged couples to your business every single day. And it's this exact targeting that has helped a lot of our students get into really deep six figure levels. So in this video, we're going to cover the best Facebook ad targeting template for wedding professionals, the funnel you need to convert Facebook leads into booked weddings. It's not just about the targeting. You need much more than that and also my favorite copywriting books so you can create Facebook ad offers that actually convert. And we have to go over just more than the Facebook ad targeting because the targeting is just a small piece of the puzzle. It's important, but if we don't have the right offers, the right copy, the right funnel that actually converts, your ads aren't gonna do anything. And then at the end, I'm gonna be sharing with you more exciting free resources so you can master these skills and take your wedding photo or video business to whole new levels. And just so you know that what I am teaching you actually works, here's some case studies to prove it. So here are our students, Ashley and Peter from Brightsight Visuals. They just posted in our community. They've been running ads recently and they just said in their post, we booked nine weddings in one month for a total of 20,775. They just booked a $20,000 a month. And here is a photo of them uh, that I screenshot from their website, Ashley and Peter. They've been doing really amazing. They're from Canada. Shay Weber, she recently just posted this in our WLMA community. We've taught her how to do these Facebook ads as well. And she said, I've booked four weddings in two days, totaling 14,275. She just had a $14,000 weekend. And that is Shay Weber from Shay Scala Photography. And last but not least, Hunter Sheldon from Hunter and Sarah Photography. He recently posted in our WLMA community. He said, we were worried that the WLMA funnel would stop working when we raised our prices. Our first wedding for 2023 is officially on our calendar. $8,000 for eight hours of coverage, our second largest booking ever. So they've even booked weddings higher than $8,000 through Facebook ads and using marketing funnels. So if you think you can't book high-end weddings through Facebook ads, you are dead wrong and you are probably doing them wrong as well. So what I'm going to do right now, now that you know that what we teach works, I've spent hundreds of thousands profitably on Facebook ads. Not many people at all have done that successfully. And I'm going to show you the targeting we use for wedding photographers and videographers. And this works for other wedding professionals as well to attract newly engaged couples to your business every single day which can be a huge help to get you to those deep six figure levels like you've seen with many of our students if you've watched a lot of our videos. So first thing you need to do, you need to go over and go on business.facebook.com. I'm gonna type it up here just so you see what that looks like. You need to go on business.facebook.com and you need to make an account. This is not a tutorial on how to set up your account. Facebook will walk you through that, but go on business.facebook.com, make an account. And when you make an account, Facebook will go, will help you go through all these instructions to make sure everything is set up. But if you already have an account, you can already go over here to all tools. And when you go on all tools, you can go ahead and go over here to ads manager. And right now I'm in my ads manager account on my demo account where I do a lot of demos. I'm going to go ahead and delete this 
And this is not a tutorial on how to use Facebook ads, but if you don't know what you're looking at, I'll briefly go over that. We have our campaign section here where we can create our campaigns, set the budgets. Under our campaign section, we have our ad sets, and this is, we can con this is where we can control the targeting, the demographics, the placements of the ads. And under the ad sets, we have our actual ads. And this is where we can create the photos or videos that we use, the text that we use in the ads, the call to actions, etc. So I'm going to quickly go through this. We're going to go over here and click on create. And this is a demo account, which is why it says account info needed. I only use this for demos. And we're going to go over here on traffic. For those who are very advanced with Facebook ads, we would normally use conversions. But to keep this simple, we're going to keep things on traffic. And just for this demo, I'm going to call this campaign cold traffic conversions demo. And usually where it says demo, I would have words that describe what this specific ad angle is about. We're going to go down. I personally like to use campaign budget optimization. A lot of our students in the WLMA do about 10 to $20 a day. Let's say you want to spend $100 the next 10 days. So we'll do this as $10 a day. We're going to go ahead and click next. For this ad set name, we're going to call this newly engaged couples audience version one. Traffic is going to go to website. If you have a Facebook pixel on your landing page or website, you could run this as landing page views, which is a little bit better than link clicks. This is not a tutorial on how to do all that. This is just mainly to show you the targeting that we love to use. But let's say we do have a Facebook pixel that can track movement on your website. You can run this as landing page views. Here you can change your start date and end date. And now we're in the area where we can change up and target a very specific audience. And this is where you really want to be paying attention here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and click edit on locations. I'm going to click this X here and we want to target about a three to four hour drive radius around wherever you are. So let's say you live in Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to type in Nashville, Tennessee here. We clicked on Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to make this range about 50 miles. Now we're going to add in all the cities around you that are about a three to four hour drive radius. So let's add in Chattanooga, Tennessee, 50 mile radius, Atlanta, Georgia, 50 mile radius, Knoxville, Tennessee, 50 mile radius. And you can look in between the map here and add in other cities. I'm just going to keep it at that for now. Now we're going to go over to the age. And for the age, we want to keep things pretty broad and we to allow Facebook's algorithm to do a lot of the work. So let's keep this at around 21 to 45. You can change up that audience on whatever your ideal client is. For now, I'll just keep that at 21 to 45. For gender, we're going to have this as all. Then we're going to click here on show more options. And we're going to go over here on edit detailed targeting. And on this detailed targeting, I'm going to find engaged relationship status. So here we have a relationship status engaged. We're going to add in newly engaged three months, newly engaged six months. And there you have it. This is the specific targeting we want to do as far as our ads. Pick a three to four hour drive radius around you. Keep the age broad, all genders. Then you want to choose newly engaged three months, newly engaged six months, and relationship status engaged. And if you go down here, you can do manual placements. There's specific manual placements I like to try out and test every once in a while. For now, on this demo, I'm just going to keep this as automatic placements. And as you can see here, we have an estimated audience size of newly engaged couples of between 130,000 to 150. So when you look at that estimated audience size, you realize there's not a scarcity of newly engaged couples out there. There's a scarcity of photographers who actually know how to get in front of them. And that is so important to understand. So now we have our basic template that we want to use. Once we have that set, then we want to go over to, to where it says one ad. And this is our ad creative. 
when you make a business advertising account, you are going to be able to follow Facebook's instructions to connect this to your Facebook page and your Instagram page. This is not a tutorial on how to do that. Facebook actually does a pretty good job in leading you on how to set that up. And it's this area here where you can fix your ad creative. You can add images here. You can add your primary text here. Let's say I add this image over here. And often photos of professional photos of you with the couples or professional photos of you holding the camera or maybe photos that you've taken are usually photos that do really, really well. And the primary text, it's going to show up at the top over here. The headline, it'll show under the photo here. It popped up briefly, but it keeps disappearing. Just seems to be a little glitch that Facebook is having. But your headline will be the most important area of your ad that'll show up under the photo. And usually learn more is a great call to action to have. Depending on what your offer is, that may change, but learn more is a great option for a call to action to have. And then you would type in your URL, whether if it's a landing page or your website in this area here, etc. So remember, this is not a tutorial to show you all the nitty gritty buttons and stuff on how to set up your Facebook ad account and how and the technical stuff on how to use Facebook ads. This is specifically to show you the Facebook ad targeting for newly engaged couples that we use time and time again that actually works. So right over here is a review of that. So our Facebook ad targeting, relationship status engaged. Newly engaged, three months. Newly engaged, six months. Also, we want to use all genders. And then we want to use a broad age range of 21 to 45. We want to target everywhere within a three to four hour drive radius from where you live or where you work. And all cities are a different size. We want to adjust to get a potential reach of between 100,000 to 300,000 newly engaged couples. And again, I just want to say, when you see those numbers of how many newly engaged couples we have a potential reach of, there is no scarcity of newly engaged couples out there. You just have to become the photographer who knows how to get in front of them. So screenshot this, make sure you know this and understand it. So now we have the targeting, but it's so important to know that Facebook ads won't work without a great offer and without great copywriting, basically meaning the offer your Facebook ads actually have and the wording that you use to persuade people to click on that ad. So I want to show you two really awesome copywriting books that will change the game when it comes to your Facebook advertising, when it comes to your email marketing, when it comes to the funnels that you create. So the first one is Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. It's only a $10 book. And this book is going to show you what copywriting is all about. Because if you don't have the right offers, if you don't use the right wording for your ads, the targeting that you use will be useless. Psychology is key when it comes to marketing. Words have so much power. So I highly recommend using this book if you want to actually market successfully. Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. The second one I want to show you is Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene M. Schwartz one of the fathers of copywriting. And this is an old book, but the principles still work to this day. This book is expensive. It is a couple hundred dollars. Normally, I think it's $500. I got this used for $300. You might be able to find it used for cheaper, but I highly recommend reading this one also if you want to change the game as far as your marketing in your wedding business. So, Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards and Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene M. Schwartz. Key to make amazing Facebook ads and make awesome funnels by using the power of words. Secondly, it's incredibly important to remember that Facebook ads will not work out very well for the wedding industry if you do not build a marketing funnel. Because Facebook ads, remember, only work as the top of the funnel. Facebook ads will only generate cold leads. They'll only build brand awareness. Once in a while, it's possible you may get some low-hanging fruit. 
and you'll get some bookings, but you'll end up having to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads to get a lot of bookings without a marketing funnel. When you build a marketing funnel under your Facebook ads, you can have a nurturing process to build a really high-end brand, nurture leads into raving fans. And then even after that, you still need a process to turn those raving fans into high ticket weddings at the very bottom of the funnel. So this is actually what we teach to our students in the WLMA. This is basically the exact map and ecosystem we teach to scale our wedding photographers to the deep six figures. There's a lot more that goes into this obviously, but now you can use this ecosystem for yourself. It obviously starts at the top of the funnel with sponsored advertising over here. We mainly use Facebook and Instagram ads. That's the cheapest way to generate leads. We have our cold traffic on the top over here. Then we're able to retarget them for really cheap right over here. And then we take them through our ecosystem where we can nurture them into raving fans. That might be through email marketing. That might be leading them to other social media platforms. And especially if we can get them to engagement session, that can really shorten the gap and build a bridge to book that wedding faster. And then here at the very bottom of the funnel, we teach a very special process called the album viewing to get those $5,000 to $10,000 weddings and even upsell you know, $2,500 in album sales. So screenshot this, make sure you know what a map and ecosystem for a successful wedding photography funnel looks like. And that's it guys, I hope you found this incredibly helpful, incredibly useful. Now you know the exact targeting we use that you can use as a template when you use Facebook and Instagram ads to attract newly engaged couples to your business. You have resources to these two amazing books so you can create Facebook and Instagram ads that actually convert and use words in your funnel that actually help convert these leads into booked weddings. And you also have access to the map of our ecosystem and funnel to attract these leads into high ticket booked weddings. If you wanna learn more, um, we have a ton of more free resources for you. So be sure to check the caption of this video. We have some awesome free resources of free marketing strategy sessions and free trainings going in more depth with these ads, these funnels, and high ticket sales for the wedding photography industry. Just those alone have been huge to take wedding photographers to pretty insane levels. And if you found this video valuable and useful, please like, subscribe, so you know when we post our weekly content. And if you have a topic that you wanna learn more about, comment, we're always listening, and we'd love to share with you more content that can take your wedding photography or videography business to new levels. Anyways, guys, can't wait to help you guys scale and up-level your wedding photo or video businesses. I'll see you guys on the next video.